Assalamu alaikum and ninjas, welcome back. Look where I am at Family Farm Hussein Spahic in Zenitsa in Bosnia and Herzegovina. MashaAllah, beautiful. I'm welcoming you. Welcome, Dobrodošli, and visit this place, man. It's beautiful. Anyway, who has the best intros in the world, man, in the tech world? Check this out, man. Anyway, this is Ninjas. After one year, I'm getting a new gamepad. This is my new daily driver i would call it like that daily driver because uh, for me gamepad is also a daily uh, gadget or daily uh, product which i'm using with my uh, own videos and personally so this is a game sir g5 uh, gaming is winning and this is the first time i'm having this brand in my hands you know that i'm mainly in the past two, three years i've been using only Ipega, 95% of all gamepads which I used were from Ipega uh, factory, Ipega gamepad brand. Uh, this one is, uh, yes, more expensive, but you get Ninja's premium quality. You get premium quality and many, many of you in the past three years always asked me, come on, Mohammed, Tech Utopia, please review and get some game sir gamepad. Here we go, Ninja's. Here we have it. Finally, this product was sent by Sunski.com, a Chinese e-shop. E e-site where you can buy different products from China directly and they do offer some products cheaper than even AliExpress or Givest or Banggood Ninjas. Example, this one you can get for $54, $55 to be precise. Givest and Banggood are selling it for $77 this gamepad Ninjas. Yes, exactly this gamepad over here. The, the package itself, it does look for the price tag uh, $50 or more. It does look uh, like that expensive, not cheap at all. I have to admit that $50 it is expensive this is not a cheap gamepad but again uh, of course not cheap in the price tag but not even cheap in the design and material because we're gonna see what is happening anyway uh, let's just unbox it everything is on Chinese so honestly I don't even know what uh, this means let's see here 360 I don't know what that means feedback maybe 33 buttons is it mobile I don't know Wi-Fi connectivity anyway we'll see I don't think so let's see here beautiful package here you go. You're going to have the buying links below. Also, I'm going to leave you my suggestions for other Ipega and GameStar gamepads. All the links will be in the description for all of them. So check them out. Check them out. Let's see here. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's take this out. Let me just see. Okay, like that. Oh, my God, that's heavy. Anyway, we do have a cable to charge it. Micro USB cable. And, okay, it's a kind of medium length. Just, yeah, it's a micro USB Cable. I mean, I already have five of them, so I don't need it. I think every single house has at least two micro USB cables and some Chinese manuals, and that's it. Nothing else in the box, Ninjas. Nothing else. Nothing else. Anyway, uh, through the shipping period, uh, it seems, let's see here, the, this box itself, this box itself don't, doesn't have any damage at all, Ninjas. So if you think that uh, you're going to get damaged, the product or something like that, I don't think so. Why would Chinese eShop sites uh, risk? Uh, basically that they will always uh, secure your product with uh, the best quality boxes etc etc so here we have it finally a game sir in my hands and oh boy oh boy oh boy I can tell you immediately that this does feel at least double more um, double more powerful double more double more quality in the hands in compared to the Ipega game pass ninjas check check Oh my god, such a beautiful, beautiful sound. Yes. Oh, bro, that's amazing. Check this out, Ninjas. Only over here at this side, you have six buttons. Oh my god. This, that's just nuts, completely nuts. You also have for uh, advanced uh, shooting, you have also uh, R5 and L5. Check this out, Ninjas. This is this is insane, bro. Reset button is just on the back. Input five volts, one amper. Gamester G5. Yes, yes, indeed. On the, we also have a bracket. Check this out. So we also have a, a, a pad, ninjas. This is a touch pad. It's not a physical thing that you touch like this. It's just like a mouse pad or something like that. So it's very sensitive. Example, this is a perfect for PUBG games or rules of survival, etc., etc. Uh, anyway, before I go through these uh, buttons and everything, I'm going to also show you how to pair it. Um, yes, the built-in mouse and keyboard converter. Yes, there is also a built-in uh, mouse and keyboard converter. High precision A, B, Y, and X still touchpad. Modular cross 
was a key 800 mini amp hour battery inside of it mh 800 ninjas that's amazing one that's one of the best batteries in a gamepad so far this has like almost double more battery than ipega gamepads which is again huge huge advantage so it supports android 4.0 that's the minimum and also supports is 7.0 minimum so this is also for android and is devices uh, mobile phone bracket stretching and we'll show you right now this is the mobile bracket which you can put it says on the site that offers minimum 3.5 inches or zero or 6.2 inches smartphones remember that so for just a minute here we go here we have a 7 inch smartphone Xiaomi Mi Max 3 let me see and voila ninjas perfectly 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 in just a minute just a minute let me see here perfectly it's exactly yes it's exact maybe just a little bit a little bit more maybe just 0 0.2 millimeters but it perfectly fits the Mi Max 3 fits with this gamepad this is this is nuts bro let me just see okay that's fine completely fine at least I'm not gonna run and play games I'm gonna sit or lay down but perfect bro check this out beautiful perfect I, I i was scared that it won't manage to fit the mi max 3 here but it did this is a seven inch beast bro here this mi max 3 is seven inch beast so you can see by yourself you can get yourself this gamepad for 55 bucks and play with the mi max 3 mi max 3 is 250 dollars so with the gamepad probably 305 310 dollars altogether Bro, this gamepad is a beast, and also we have a Mi Max 3 as a beast with a large screen. That's insane. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna, for testing purposes, I'm gonna use, uh, of course, my favorite smartphone of all time. Just a minute, let me bring it, let me bring it. Of course, the Pocophone F1. Of course, I'm gonna use the Pocophone F1. What do you thought? What did you thought? I'm gonna use an iPhone XR. Anyway, here we go. The, uh, the Pocophone F1 fits beautifully. And you can see by itself, it's almost uh, fitting exactly di diagonally uh, with the handles, if I can call it. Can we call these handles? I think so. I don't know. Anyway, oh my god, love the sound. Love the sounds. And everything is perfectly, uh, basically accessible. You can access all the buttons with no, with no problem, ninjas. You won't be annoyed or something like that. You can see by itself, you won't even touch the screen or you won't touch even touch the back of the smartphone. Everything is accessible. Check this out. Even these buttons, you can use them with the middle finger. Check this out. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. Anyway, let me just download some games which do support this gamepad. And we're going to try to pair this one and play some games a little bit. Uh, you can see by itself that we have even a battery. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do it immediately. Let's go to the settings. Let's go to the settings. We're going to go to Bluetooth. And basically, how are you going to pair it? Uh, very simple. It's not like with the Ipega gamepad. So you just press this button and it's going to flash like this, yeah? Let me just turn the Bluetooth on. You can see by itself, Ipegap uh, 9055 I've been using. 9055. I think I should... Uh, just a minute, Wi-Fi connectivity is there. Interesting. I think I should... Just a minute. I think I should uh, hold longer this button. I think so. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now, it should blink faster. Ninja. So, did you saw what I'm done? Refresh okay let's see here rarely use devices no i don't think that's it still waiting come on come on connect connect hey there you go game set it did uh, it's available ninjas game set g5 tap on it and i think we are are we paired? Oh yeah, we are. So you can see by itself, it did stop. Oh my God, such a beautiful logo. Check this out, it's like a holographic or 3D logo or something like that. It looks really awesome. Insane, insane. So you have also here Bluetooth connectivity. It seems that it also has, uh, that's basically that means, is it? I don't, I don't know what this means over here, but I know that we have modes and we have the battery. You can even see the battery capacity. Check this out. Ah, I can't got it, I got it now. Select mode, start mode, a plus, X plus, Y plus, B plus, turbo mode. This is the try pack to enable it probably. Just a minute, let me see. Oh yeah, yeah. How did I? Oh, there you go, there you go. How do I use it? Just a minute, let me see. So I enabled it. 
let me just go I don't know I don't see it here ah yeah okay, uh, ah, immediately ah okay I got it got it now ninjas okay sorry for that one uh, this is my first experience with this uh, gamepad anyway uh, so ah because it's turned back like that so it doesn't want uh, in this options it doesn't recognize it maybe in the game but anyway I'm not gonna use this one oh check this out check this out yeah, yeah check it out check it out go back down up down yeah 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 yep it works really nice sensitive is is completely okay so you can enable it or disable it yeah 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 and now enable it or disable it oh, okay I got it and what do we have one uh, two three and four so this is it just regarding the buttons so you have the d-pad you have one uh, analog which is it looks really sensitive and really nice oh my god it's gonna be very very interesting to play some games so let's begin just let's play some games one more thing I just want to praise is this grip. Uh, it has this kind of a rubbery uh, feeling. So even if you sweat, I don't think you're going to drop this smartphone or I don't think it's going to slide from your hand or something like that. So this is, again, nice touch from the game, sir. They have been thinking about everything. Great. I, I mean, it's not plastic. This is, uh, I mean, it's not metal. This is still plastic over here. And I think a lot of them are made from plastic. I think that, I think this is from metal, maybe plastic. I think it's metal. I think it's metal, Ninjas. I think these buttons are from metal. Uh, the bracket is also from metal. And the D-pad is also from metal. This one over here is, I think, kind of a metal with the... Let's see here. Ah, yeah, I got it. A little bit of sensitivity. Probably it has some sensitivity uh, below it. But everything is here from plastic, but a good plastic one, not a cheap plastic because this feels very solid. I don't think it's going gonna, it's gonna to break or something like that. I'm not going to be jelly rig right now and try to destroy it or something like that. I'm going to leave it as it is. So let's go with the games. Ninjas, and just to show you a little bit that you can take these handles. I forgot to show you that one because uh, you can connect. Uh, it can be connected to 2.4G wireless mouse and keyboard set. Uh, remember that. Check this out, Ninjas. Insane, isn't it, bro? Bro, they thought about everything. This is insane. I don't know why I didn't get this game here gamepad before. Such a great, uh, such a great product. Anyway, uh, it's easy to put it back. You can see it myself. Very, very easy to put it back. Just follow these lines over. Just a minute, and let's see here. It should be, nah, it should be like that. So you can see it myself. Very easy to put it back. Anyway, uh, let's go back. Let's see here. Oh, I need to select. Yeah. So there you go, let me put the sound a little bit up. So here we go, 360, we can put it like that. It can go handle down, it can go like this, if you want to play it like that. Still it can access everything. Okay, let's go X. Oh my God, this is insane. Okay, very responsive, okay, let's play it. Oh my god, this touchpad over here, it's its way, way better than the buttons, actual buttons. I don't know, maybe some of you do love the, uh, that uh, press feeling of the buttons to feel that click and everything, but this is very impressive. I could, I could adapt to this one and adjust myself. This is the first time I'm having something like this. You can even look all around, which is, again... Check this out, Ninjas. So you are holding and you have these buttons. You can use them and also in the same time you can look around. How cool is that? Okay, the GTA, bloody GTA. The, the, uh, why, why did I use the GTA? This, this is the old version. Anyway, let's go with the next game. I think you figured it out. Uh, let's go with the next game. Maybe I'll try to run uh, right now PUBG. Oh, yeah. Okay, Ninjas. Yes, I'm going to test this gamepad. I figured out that Pub PUBG doesn't support gamepads on default. I forgot that completely. Uh, you'll have to map use the key mapper apps i'll try to do that maybe uh, in the upcoming days so sorry for that inshallah i might even do a tutorial how to do the uh, how to download and which uh, key mapping app to use for the pubg games or for the games who which do not support on default uh, gamepad i completely love i'm in love with this touchpad bro such it's so it's so fluent man it's so responsive way way better than the actual buttons in my case bro love it i completely love it this is gamecube uh, emulator called the dolphin you can check on my youtube channel if you maybe never heard about it you can play awesome awesome games here 
And this Dolphin emulator supports gamepads. One of them is like you see myself games here with no sweat. I can even test a different game. Check it out, check it out. Kenny just Simpsons hit and run. Yes, <laughs> this is really insane. What I love again, even uh, even with the with the Dolphin emulator, I love this strike bat because uh, while you're driving, you can look around, bro. With just one, what with just one thumb, that's completely nuts, bro. Honestly, it's nuts here. Check this out. Crazy. I have to find better build for this game. The build that I'm using right now is not good for this game. Okay, I'm gonna now move to a little bit of Android games. Asphalt Extreme, maybe. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna test Modern Combat 5. Let's check it out. Ah, nice, 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 bro. Ah, nice, nice, indeed. Anyway. Oh. have to uh, probably adjust the sensitivity a little bit not a little bit a lot there okay I will have to adapt with this one regarding this game I have to admit that one or maybe the mode I did press the mode a few times maybe I need to press the mode we will see later on So if I if I press it and go up a little bit, yeah, go down, up, 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 up. Okay, now it's okay. Yeah, first time using it, so it's a little bit odd for me. I have to adjust myself. Wait a minute, what I need to press? I need to press But how do I crouch? I don't get it, how do I crouch? Crouch Let me see Oh! Oh! Oh, so I can... Oh, that's nice That's really nice, so I can adjust the volume from here That's good, that's good indeed Battery is fine. Still didn't figure out how to these are buttons. I know that these are buttons to change the weapon and everything. Yeah, it's it's a bit difficult, I have to admit right now. Maybe this is a con regarding this game. So how do I so it doesn't have a full support, it seems, to so this game. A gamepad does, uh, this game doesn't have a full support with the game set G5. So that's why it's like this, because I can't aim. I mean, I can't, yeah, I can't bring it closer. How do you call that? No, I can't, I can't do that. Mouse is over here. So you can disable it or enable this one. Okay, I got it. Yeah, it just needs time, it needs practice, needs just, but it's going to be a bit, uh, a very odd if you are uh, basically moving from a standard uh, trigger or standard right analog, analog to this touchpad, it's going to be odd, it's going to be honestly odd, it was odd for me at the beginning, did you saw? But, it is a con that we don't have a full support of the, oh, wait a minute, oh, there you go, there you go. Now I have. Ah, I got it. Now I have. It does have. So I don't know why I didn't have it at the beginning. I honestly don't get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on to me. Nice kill, bro. Okay, let's go next. Let's go next. Okay, let's move. Anyway, I'm getting there. I am getting there. Press B. 
Honestly, I was scared a little bit at the beginning of this touchpad for this game, but I'm getting there. I didn't play this game in a long time, bro. See the sky. Still really impressive game. Still a really impressive game. If you if you put it uh, on the max settings, it's very impressive. Let's go to the settings. Audio effects. Go here. Put it 60. Oh, just a minute. Put it 60. Oh, oh, we need to do that through the... Oh, now it is 60, bro, yeah? Still, nothing can... You see, you will need to adjust, basically... I'll need to adjust somehow the sensitivity to be more sensitive. Because this is not sensitive in compared to the touching the... the basically, how you call this thing, the, the screen. It is it is better to touch the screen, man. It's not even close. The sensitivity, sensitivity, you can see by itself for now. But I think this is adjustable. I don't know how I'm going to adjust it. But it is adjustable. Probably it is adjustable. Just need need to know how to do that. So probably I'm, I'm going to share later on. Anyway, so far what I would reckon it with racing cars, probably with the uh, with PUBG, maybe with uh, I would say uh, FIFA games, PES games, uh, of course emulators for sure. It's better to have this gamepad than to play it on the screen. Every every single gamepad is better for emulators, bro. And compared to the touch screen, bro. Honestly, I don't know how to even, it's so horrible to play emulators with the touch screen without the gamepad on it, but I know that uh, a lot of you can't afford to play additional uh, pay uh, or get a uh, gamepad, but I hope one day you will, bro, because it's a huge difference having a gamepad for emulators. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed in this small, short, quick, hands-on unboxing and small review there. Uh, I have to admit that I am uh, satisfied. I am satisfied. We'll be using this small, uh, this uh, gamepad with other smartphones because I need to train myself regarding this uh, trackpad. If we can call it mousepad. Uh, because this is the first time I'm using it as a, uh, as a, for the gaming purposes. So I'll have to basically train myself and, of course, give you my feedbacks in up and upcoming uh, days, weeks, months. So remember, uh, you, if you see my future gameplays, I'm going to probably be using this gamepad over here. Anyway, wish you all the best and have a beautiful day. Mohamed is signing out. Peace. Remember, the buying links are below. Get it on sanski.com. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China! That is the gearbest.com and banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!